Good morning, everyone. Today is September 29th, 2015, and I'm broadcasting live from Knoxville, Tennessee. It's a little after 6 a.m. here. Well, it's close to 6.15 a.m. And today, I'll be reading directly from my devotional. It is Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. She pulls out specific scripture from the Bible and changes the point of view to first person. So it's almost as if God is talking directly to you. Good morning. Um, amazing, amazing devotional. If you haven't seen it before, again, it's Jesus Calling. So what I typically do each broadcast, I'll read directly from my devotion. And then I'll read directly from my King James Bible so we can see what scripture inspired the devotion for each day. Alright, so September 29th. I am with you and all around you, encircling you in golden rays of light. I always behold you face to face. Not one of your thoughts escapes my notice. Because I am infinite, I am able to love you as if you and I were the only ones in the universe. Walk with me in intimate love steps, but do not lose sight of my majesty. I desire to be your closest friend, yet I am also your sovereign Lord. I created your brain with capacity to know me as friend and Lord simultaneously. The human mind is the pinnacle of my creation, but so few use it for its primary purpose of knowing me. I communicate continually through my spirit, my word, and my creation. Only humans are capable of receiving me and responding to my presence. You are indeed fearfully and wonderfully made. And this comes from Psalm chapter 34, verses 4 through 7. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 16 through 17. Oh, hello. I'm struggling with a headache. I think after this broadcast I'm going to go back to bed, but I'm well. Hope you enjoy San Francisco. It looks beautiful there. All right, so John chapter 17, verse 3. Psalm chapter 139, verse 14. Okay, so now reading from my King James Bible. Uh, this is Psalm chapter 30. Wait a minute, I already forgot what it was. Oh, here we go. John chapter 34, verses 4 through 7. Is this 34? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, it's all shaded blue. This is, I studied this previously. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and he delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him, and he delivers them. So whatever you're struggling with, that self-doubt, the worry, the shame, the embarrassment, give it to God, and he can use it no matter what. You can suck at everything, and God can turn it into a blessing. He can use it. Just trust in him. Don't feel ashamed. Just move on. Move forward. Keep your eyes forward. Keep searching for the Lord. Keep pursuing him and trying to know him better and learn more as you can. God can use it. Alright, so the next one. Psalm 139, verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works that my soul knows right well. All right, so we are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's our identity. Our identity is made new in him. So don't let this culture try to tell you that you were a mistake, that you're unwanted, you're unloved. You're made in the image of God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God made you. If God is for you, who could be against you? Don't get focused on all the pettiness of this world, the pettiness of this culture. Focus on Him. Praise Him. You're fearfully and wonderfully made in His image. That's amazing. It's a blessing. Alright, so the next one. John chapter 17, verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. So again, we were created to know God and be in communication with him. 
We don't need a middleman. Jesus died for us. When Jesus died on the cross, the veil in the church, it, it ripped down, it ripped apart. So we don't have to go to church. We don't have to pray through another priest to have our prayers reach God. We can pray to God wherever we are. We can talk to him. We can communicate with him. We can read our Bibles. I do encourage you all to attend church as well. I mean, I wasn't saying, you know, just don't go to church, but you don't need a middleman to talk to God. You can talk directly to him. You can know him. You can search for him. If you pursue him and search for him, you'll find him. Trust me. And you'll experience that transformational power of God. He is an expert at turning beauty out of ashes. Blessings out of sorrow. Just trust in him. Know him. Learn from him. Learn from his teachings in the word. Pray to him. And just listen. Listen. And then the last verse comes from 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 16 through 17. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased so our savior our lord is jesus he took all of our shame all of our worry all of our doubts all of our embarrassments and mistakes and he took all of that onto the cross with him and sacrificed his life for us so that we can experience love everlasting we can experience eternity with god Give him praise. He took the bullet for you. He saved your life. He died for you so that you can live. Jesus came to this earth to save us. He didn't come to condemn us. So trust him. For those of you still searching for him, ask him into your heart as your Lord and Savior. And you will experience love everlasting. You'll have that Holy Spirit poured into you to heal you and comfort your heart where all you have to do is cry out to God, help me. Help me, God. I've made so many mistakes and I don't have control and I give it all to you, God. I give you everything I got. Use me. And like I said before, I mean, you can suck at everything. You can have a dirty, shameful past. It doesn't matter how far you've fallen away. You are never out of reach of God. Never. It doesn't matter how deep you fall. God's love is deeper. And he will surround you in his love still. So again, he loved us so much that he sent his only son to die for your sins. To justify your wrongs. Clean that slate to give you a second chance. Wipe away all those mistakes from your past so again you can spend eternity in heaven with your Lord and Savior, with God the creator of the universe. It's an amazing, amazing promise that we have on our hearts just by accepting God as our Lord and Savior, as Jesus as our Lord and Savior. It's amazing. So hopefully these broadcasts will encourage each and every one of you. Tomorrow will be my last broadcast. I'll try to pick this up again in December. Um, but I do hope that you all realize how much you are loved. And hopefully you'll believe in that more so than you believe in this culture or this world. I mean, worlds fade. Kingdoms fall. But God's love is everlasting. Jesus' love for us, our sacrifice for us, our, con our, our covenant that he made on our hearts will live forever. Oh, thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you all for your encouragement. Again, I am so, so grateful of having this broadcast and being able to talk to each and every one of you each morning. This is the favorite part of my day. And I will miss you all. So again, I hopefully these messages penetrated your hearts, lifted your spirits, maybe brought you back home to God. Opened your eyes to realize his love for you. 
All right, well, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye, y'all.